Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are now on the ninth assignment and we're gonna be jumping into Caesarea, which is, well, it looks like a bit of a disaster from that picture. And in Caesarea, we're gonna be doing desert letter blocks. That's right, letter blocks, we're gonna go A, B, C, D. Uh, maybe we'll jumble in some other letters, we'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead and get the mission started. How I wish that all of my governors were as successful as you are. Are you surprised that I would say that? We do not advertise Rome's failures, preferring to handle them quietly. Sadly, some governors abuse the trust that I have placed in them. I take this personally. Your colleague in Caesarea proved to be little more than a common thief. The fool pocketed all of the denarii that his account book showed being sent on prefectures and prefect salaries. His fraud caused exactly the problems you would expect of a city without prefects. He was hardly as clever as he thought himself. This former governor now rots in a mamertine prison. It amuses me to tie his fate to that of Caesarea. You, my most promising governor, will take over Caesarea, restore the city to its former glory, and achieve the ratings I've defined for you. If you can undo the harm that its previous governor caused, I will show him mercy and merely exile him from the empire. If you cannot save Caesarea, he will die as slowly and painfully as did his former city. Needless to say, I will be sorely disappointed in you if you stumble. I take my governor's failures personally, too. Oh, besides the problems stemming from mismanagement, our old foes the Numidians are still active in the region. Don't neglect the city's defense. All right, well, Caesarea, that's how it's pronounced. Governor fired. Population 7,000, prosperity 70, favor 90, culture rating of 60, peace rating of 60. And it seems like uh, there are no prefectures and everything's gonna be on fire, so let's jump into the city. Slow things down, pause the game, and I'm just gonna push the music going. Welcome to Caesarea, and uh, not the first time we've been we've inherited a garbage pile of a city. But if I press the F key on my keyboard, we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, I don't want to immediately demolish all of this because we're already past the immigration glitch, so it's important to to take advantage of that. And I assume we will be invaded relatively soon. Let's check the gods. Ooh, Mars is gonna. Oh uh, yeah, Mars is gonna send an invasion pretty soon, Neptune as well. Okay, so let's fix the problems immediately. Well, actually, let's look around the city. Let's look around the map. So we've got some farmland over there. We've got some water over here. Uh, some farmland over here. It's a pretty small map, actually. It's a pretty small map. And I assume invasions could come from here or down here or maybe over here somewhere. Uh, invasions could come from here. It's unlikely invasions will come from here, but they might come from there. And they could, of course, come from here. That's why I'm kind of scared of building on these farmlands. Oh, but there is one in the middle there. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm a little concerned about invasions hitting the farmland. This, this is the safest farmland to go for. And it's closest to the entrance of the map. So we could get our exports going that way. What exports do we have? We already have a trade route open for fruit and oil. We could also sell vegetables and furniture by water and iron. Can we produce all of that? Raw materials, iron, timber, yes. Farm, wheat, fruit, olives, pigs, okay. So it's pretty good, pretty good. Exports, exports suck on this map, yeah. It's a, it's a little tricky. Um, also, just so you guys know, this, this, each, each of these maps tend to take three parts. The last, uh, the last map we played took four parts, so this is going to be a three to four part map. Okay, so first, let's get some prefects. No, no, first let's try and stem that Mars curse. Let's, let's try and fix that. Let's, let's just put down very quickly, temple to Mars, temple to Neptune, and then we're going to clear off all of these buildings that we don't need. So, 
Die, die. 500 people, die. Don't need markets. Don't need all these... Oh, what, what? I, wa I wonder who's tasked to building these cities. I wonder. <laughs> you know, when they made Caesar 3, they're like, okay. Greg, Greg, we need you to make a really bad city. <laughs> and he had to go ahead and do this. Um, okay, let's get rid of that. We don't need that doctor, don't need that market. Um, we can leave the farms for now. We don't need that warehouse. Now, looking at this road here, we don't need this road connection for now. We don't need that road connection for now. Okay, I'll leave the barracks, but uh, we don't need the granary. Okay, and now to try and stem fires. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it, it, start, it starts pretty harsh, right? Okay, yeah. Let's get down uh, prefectures. Okay, we're just gonna try and put one there, put one there. One there, one there. Just try and get these going as quickly as possible. This is a desert map, so there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So I'm just gonna have like extra prefectures, more than we would normally have, and then try and clear off roads that we don't need. So like, we don't need this road here. We don't need this road here. Do we need this road? We don't... I don't really want this road to be here, but we're gonna have to move that... Oh, we do have a temple to Neptune. Oh, was it just not working? Yeah, it just wasn't working. Okay, okay. So good thing I, I did build that temple to Neptune. Can we clean up the roads down this way? We don't need... Uh, I'll also destroy that house. Because that's most likely to catch fire next. That one as well. That one as well. To so just try stem all of that, and we can have a prefecture up this way as well. Right? I think that's... Oh, what is this The center bit with the fountain? <laughs> it, this, this, this is the sort of thing that looks nice, but it's just not very nice. Uh, oh, what is, what is this bit here? Oh, okay, so... I'll just clear off this as well. We don't need anything functioning over here for now. Okay, okay. So fires might still spread, but this should... That should stem things as quickly as possible. Yeah. One more there. Okay. Okay. Uh, then... Do I need these farms? I probably don't need these farms, right? Let's just clear them off. Which means I don't need that road either. Uh, I don't want to spend any more money building temples, but that road there is not very good to have. So I'm gonna move the temple to Ceres as well. Small temple, Ceres. Just sit there. What is that? A barber shop, we don't need that either. You know, it said return this city to its former glory, but I don't see how this had any glory in it to begin with. This loop here might be a little dangerous. Okay. Right? It's a pretty it's a pretty annoying start. We do start with a decent amount of funds though. So let's see. We can now sell 25 fruit and 25 oil a year. I could 
just take advantage of this area here. Clear off some space, right here. Let's, let's try to keep things a little efficient. Make some nice... Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. The mood in the city is getting uglier and one of the tax collectors was robbed. We have tax collectors? Well, we do have tax collectors. But we don't need to tax them either. Okay. I'll leave a doctor down. Just to make sure disease doesn't spread. Okay. So now... Let's see. Can I go ahead and get some... What's the range of this? There? It's here. Farm. And it goes one, two, three, and that's the limit, I think. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put down some houses there. And then we could get some farms going. And we could prep our exports near the entrance so things can be sold as quickly as possible. Okay. Meanwhile, do all of these... They do have employees. That one won't. Oh no, I, I left that road there, so okay. These here won't be operating, but all these towers on the right side will be operating. No employees that okay, okay. So now I just have to hope that prefects spawn and curb these fires. So let's just speed up the game a little bit here. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Unemployment of 26%. Let me just make sure. Okay, difficulty is on very hard. Okay, prefects are spawning. Okay, fire is spreading. We're going to start putting out fires as much as possible. There we go. Ah, some of these might not be covered. You know, the, the guy who was swindling the city was saving money on prefectures, which is 30 denarii each. He got away with pocket change. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll clear the rubble. Towers are shooting these... Zebra. Ooh, nasty. Okay, okay. Now we need that to not burn down. Can some of you prefects just walk up that way, please? Anyone? Anyone? Are you going up there, please? Turn that... Yes, okay. Ah, there we go. Inspired by Mars, some locals have decided to go against various grievances they have long held against you. Okay, so we're under attack already. Can these towers hold? Something... There's a road there. Okay. Rather... Awkward looking road placements here. I'll just shift this road over so that I can actually have a wall here. Oh! I just noticed this guy's spawning out here. Because this road is touching the towers from this side. So the guy who wants to go out and get employees. Is walking the wrong side. Okay. It'll have to be like that for now. I don't know if that's gonna hold, but oh well. <laughs> um, people are moving out too? Okay. Okay. So people aren't gonna be moving in. 18% unemployment. Let me just. I 
I don't want to keep this block. What can I put down to just deal with, you know? Let's just get rid of some houses. Right? Get unemployment below 10%. Now, can we actually deal with this? I, I assume we can. If the towers stop shooting the zebra. Did we wipe out that herd? Oh, there's only two left there. If they come straight this way into the functioning towers, we actually will be okay. Oh, too close to enemy troops. We do have a lot of prefects though, so that might help. Can we... Come on, towers, shoot! Shoot them! Stop shooting the zebra! Okay, we've got some javelin guys and prefects running around as well. Prefects going to stab. This soldier's too strong for me. No Ooh. sign of crime around here. No crime, but uh, some invaders. I think we're actually fine. I think we're fine. Okay. And Diffid the Lesser is running away. Diffid the Lesser, congratulations, you don't die today. we still got people moving out. Unemployment's down to 2%. Gotta wait for people to start moving in, and then we can boost our population back up. Uh, how do we make people happy again? Let's drop taxes to zero. Let's increase wages to eight, temporarily. Okay, is anything gonna collapse or burn down? We might need a couple more engineers posts around here. Employees needed. Okay, now there's work. Ah. <laughs> ah, we did it. We did it. We've started the map. As long as population stays above 300, I'm I'm fine with this. Now, if we just speed things up until people start moving in again, fantastic. Are you gonna move in here? There we go, yes. Okay. So now, we can sell 25 fruits a year. I'm not sure how many farms that is. I, that should be either three or four. Right? So we can go... Like three of those, and then maybe... We can get up to there. Okay, we're gonna try to be as efficient as possible with this. Two olive farms? And it goes all the way down to there. Okay. So I could prep for that. Have the road go down until then. Prefecture, engineer's post. Good, good. Ah, is this road gonna be too long? I think for now I'll keep the, the road short. But I will need to put down workshops for... Wait, I'll need a warehouse. I'll need like two warehouses. This one will be oil. This one will be fruits. And before we forget, let's just make sure we are actually setting them to export. Okay. And we'll need workshops, oil. One, two, three, four, there. Okay, that's our export setup. 
Now we just gotta make sure we actually have... Oh, by Jupiter, Messenger has just returned from the outer regions of a prov province. It seems that terrible sandstorms have blocked the path so merchants none can get through at all, and it could be several months before the path is cleared. It's okay, we've got nothing to sell. Okay. Uh, well, since this road is now no longer functioning, we can just clear that off and... Replace that, okay. So people are all gonna start moving back in. We are short by 94 employees, but... Why doesn't this prefecture have access to workers? You know... Fires are scary. Have another prefecture. Why isn't the prefecture working? Oh, oh, right. Priority level one. There we go, did it. Priority level two on water services. And priority level three on industry and commerce. Priority level 4 on governance and religion, because we don't want the gods to be unhappy. And the rest, not so important. Okay. There we go. Oh, engineering. We have to make sure engineering is set as well. Uh, priority 4. <laughs> ah, okay. Hmm. I should get some military running soon. Yeah, but let, let's make sure we actually have money going. Some source of income. This seems like a very efficient way. We could fit quite a lot of farms here, but we do have to feed 7,000 people on this map. 7,000 people. But I think this is a pretty decent start. What do you think? What do you think? Everything is going fine. What else could go wrong? Exactly, Jack Dice. Exactly. It's fine. It's fine. You know, I probably don't need this many prefectures at this point now. We could clear off some of them. Like, we don't need two there. We don't need three here. We've made the roads a little bit more efficient, so it should be fine. There we go. Cut back on some prefectures, get other things running. Some fruits now coming in, starting to stockpile. We'll be able to sell that soon. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers of how many fruits per year three farms will produce. I think that should cover 25. I'm not too sure. Distant battle, enemies closing. Yeah, they're on the way. Uh, we're gonna need a fort, but those are a thousand? Okay, okay. Alright, let's pause. Let's pause. Where do we want our military? So there's a little farmland there. There's some farmland there. There's some farmland here. Now, we haven't gotten into the letter blocks yet because there's just nothing to build. I just wanted to set that up so that we can actually start making some money. Because this is a tough map. And all of this is going eventually. Uh, so, perhaps military. That's a good spot for, like, housing. Where can I squeeze military and it not be a problem? Yeah. All this open space is great for housing blocks. The map's not too big. But, uh... You know, I probably won't be building housing blocks here. Or maybe I would. Jeez, where, where do I set up my military without it messing things up? Maybe over here, by this cliffside. Yeah, because there'll be some farmland here. This could easily respond to north east and south, and they could just run straight across to stop here, if an invasion comes from there. I'm probably not going to be using that farmland. Yeah, and I'm not going to be doing a housing block right up against these cliffs, so let me clear these trees. And put down a fort of javelins. Right there. Just so we have some military going. Okay, and we're still not in debt. 
let's speed the game back up. Okay, okay. Is this very hard? Of course it is. This is a very hard playthrough with extra challenges thrown in. Ah, <laughs> uh, because... Well, I've already beaten the game on hard, so might as well. Cliffs are very desirable for housing, actually. Really? Why? Why would cliffs be desirable for housing? Is it like... Desirability? I don't think so. Did I escape the immigration glitch? Uh, no. Uh, we started with 500 people, so it wasn't a problem. Now, a bunch of people have moved back in. Military is a little short. We're just short by 31 employees. Okay. So I can probably... Do I need two prefects here? I'll leave two prefects there. Is anything going to burn down? It should be fine. That prefect will go back that way. Is anything going to collapse? Maybe that prefect there. You know... It's probably not worth having this road. We don't need that tower functioning. We don't need that road either. Because that house is within two tiles. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oil starting to come in. We did sell some fruits and a bit of oil. Fantastic. Um... How's our employees? Okay, you know, just to, so we start stockpiling enough fruits, I am going to put down one more fruit farm. That should guarantee 25 fruits a year sold. Uh, ah, money's coming in. We actually managed to avoid hitting the debt thing completely. So now, as things just go along, I can start planning my blocks. Now, should I go A, B, C, D? Or should I... You know, it's probably better if I picked letters that were more associated with Roman culture. Like V, I, M. I know they used all the letters, but some are a bit more iconic, right? Like numbers, like Roman numerals. Another sandstorm? Okay, okay. Is it going to be Greek or Latin script letters? I love lambda block. SPQR. SPQR would be great, right? SPQR? <laughs> hmm. SPQR... Wait. Is SP, SPQR is, is the one used in Rome, right? To... to Because I got a magnet from Rome when I was there. It's SPQR, right? Hmm. It's literally the Latin alphabet, but yeah, but some things are a little... It's a little, uh... Senate and the people of Rome, yeah, yeah. Uh, some letters are more associated with Rome than others, like, um... J is not... Do they have J? Hmm. See, e even if they had J, I would not do a J block. That seems inappropriate. Uh, X would be good. I've done an X block before, but... So we're kind of low on money right now, and I don't know if I want to go into debt for this, but I want to start drawing the housing blocks. Um, so all up here would be great. I would love to do like an X block somewhere. SPQR. You know, if I did like SPQR, sort of going along up here in a sort of SPQR. <laughs> They had no J and K. Ah, yes, thank you. So I do like S, P, Q, R. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. I'll need to create some room here. I think I'm just going to go into debt here and see if I get any free money. Ha. My governors think money grows on trees. No, no money. Jeez. I, c I can't draw housing blocks yet. City in debt again. Wait. Has agreed to lend up to 5,000 denarii for 12 months. You need to generate funds from taxes and exports. Oh. Right, so no, no, no rescue funds. No rescue funds. So I, I can't do anything until I start selling these things. Ah. Oh. I, I think I started with the rescue funds, right? 
my starting funds were the rescue funds because a previous previous governor messed up so bad. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's fine. We're starting to get a bit of military. Okay, how's our employment? Shot by nine employees. Okay, um, shot by nine employees. Let's just make sure we don't run out of people. We'll put down one house. Kill those zebra. Okay, so I know I said I'm gonna be do, doing letter blocks, but we can't do anything because uh, we need those trade caravans to come back. We're just gonna have to wait. We're just gonna have to wait. Uh, one more olive farm and two oil workshops. Yeah, we probably need that. Let's get out of debt first, yeah? Buy some stuff, please. Reset our debt anniversary. Oh, three caravans walk through here. That's very good. Okay, that's reset our debt anniversary. So I'm going to put down one more olive farm. And two more oil workshops. And just move this prefecture to there. This should maximize our current sales of things. You know, this could just be an O block. <laughs> that counts, right? That counts. Okay, buy some stuff. Okay, so how many fruits did we sell there? 15 of 25. Buy some oils. Grab that fruit on your way out, please. Thank you. 1,000 denarii. 1,000 denarii. There we go. There we go. Uh, so, things are doing pretty well. I never look at prices, by the way. We're selling fruits. Uh, sellers receive 30. Oil, 140. Iron, 40. It's not that great. Furniture is 150, but I think that's a water trade route. I don't think I ever look at this. I need to look at prices more, right? How the gods feeling? All charmed? Okay, fantastic. Oh, that reminds me. Let's throw a festival to Mars. It only costs 88. And you know, let's put down a second temple to Mars. Be happy, Mars. Okay. So now we can do our housing blocks. I'm gonna do the SPQR first because that sounds brilliant. So SPQR, going around this O block. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna look quite nice. Okay, we're gonna clear off some of this. Make sure there's enough room. Go to that tree. Now S. It's a little hard to do in isometric, but I think we can. I think we'll pull it off. Now, how big do I want it? Like one, two, three, four. That big? That should be okay. S. Yeah. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. I've never actually done letter blocks. This might look at this might need a little workshopping. I'm sure, wait. Can I, can I just draw this on a piece of paper first? <laughs> let me let me just So if I were to do an S, it could be like Wait, that's not right. A geom Metric S. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think I'm on the right track here. We can go up to there. One, two, three, four. And it would. That's probably too long. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Why does it look so wrong? Oh, wait, I see, I see. I think it's just too big. Right? Because, oh, well, this is not big enough. One, two, three, four. This needs to be like there. Right? I should just let time run, otherwise I'm gonna run out of... I'm gonna run out of room at this scale, right? Because this needs to... Wait. 
Do I shrink the scale? Maybe I shrink the scale. So that would be there, and this will be here instead. This is probably a little bit more manageable. Right? One, two. So instead of four, I'm gonna do two. One, two. Keep it aligned. One, two, three, four. Wait. Okay, and this needs to go up to there. S! We did an S! That was way harder than it should have been. <laughs> that was way too hard. Why was that so difficult? I drew a snake block in the animal blocks. Why was an S difficult? We did an S. Okay. My governor's think money grows on trees. Remember when he said I was like one of his most competent governors and that's why he's given me the city to save? <laughs> so I've given you the city. What, do you, what, what is your plan to save the city? What is your plan to save the city? Well, Caesar, Caesar, listen to this. I've got the perfect plan. I'm gonna spend all my money Building blocks that spell out SPQR. Because letter blocks are cool. That's the plan. Okay. Let's get the block functioning, shall we? Um, it's a little small, it's a little small, but if we do small letter blocks, we can do a lot of letter blocks, right? So let's get. Wait, let's let's reset our debt anniversary first, make sure things are fine. Okay, let's get this block functioning. Put down a couple houses there. We're probably gonna need... Okay. You know, you sent me to save the city. You know, maybe... Maybe requesting goods is not... Not the best idea. Okay, let's make sure nothing burns down. Firehouse. Firehouse. I'm kind of scared of more fires, though. Um, four firehouses. Engineer's post. Engineer's post. Should I just make... Because this is, this is not an efficient block. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and I guess... In the middle, I should only have houses every other, because desirability is going to be an issue. Right? And it could fit more houses on the outside. Okay. We'll have one more house there, but I'll, I'll give a month to reset the debt anniversary. Alright, S block. Think money grows on trees. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hear that a lot. Okay. Where? Oh, no prefect ever walked up there. Okay, that's fine. You, you can, you can burn. It's fine. It's fine. Anywhere else having problems? No. Okay. Good. Yeah, all that can burn. That's fine. We've got an S block. We'll, we'll let that other block slowly burn to the ground. Put wages back down. Thank you so much. I completely forgot my wages were pushed up. Okay, there we go. There we go. That should solve our employment problem. Needs 40 people there. Let's uh, get rid of this rubble. Okay, okay, we could... No, actually, we, we shouldn't be putting any more houses over there. We're gonna be invaded. Mars is exalted. It would be nice if you sent me, like, a... Like a... A little... T 
temple there? Yeah, let's get a temple down. Let's get a temple down. So we should be maxed on land exports for now. It is August. How are exports actually looking? Not maxed out on fruits, basically. Yeah, just need a bit of oil sold. We've sold how much? 12? So we need to sell another 13. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. We probably won't max our sales this year, but we should be able to max our sales next year. Okay, reset the debt anniversary. You know, I, I really want Mars to, to, like, be happy. So can I just, like, put another temple to Mars? And then I need to get a reservoir over there. But, you know, for now, wells will do. Yeah, okay. Let's evolve that a little bit. Shot by eight employees, that's fine. Okay. A blessing from Mars would be really nice. Shot by seven employees, okay. We don't have much of an army. I don't know if I could survive this. I thought... Why can we not... Mars, just... Send me a blessing. Have another festival. Have another festival. So did we max out our sales? Uh, fruit, yes. Oil, no. Um, with a bit more oil, I think I think we have maxed our sales with this. Ah, there's fires inside the town, but we got us an S. Yes, S block down. Next up is going to be P. Yes! Blessing from Mars. In debt because I threw another festival to Mars, which I apparently didn't need to do. Didn't know he was going to send us... Uh, the, the temple must have pushed over. I should have waited. I should have waited. Oh well. Um, we've got to focus on our next export. We could sell furniture and vegetables to Carthago Nova. Or iron to Valencia. So that's probably going to be a water trade route. We could set it up here or here. We're going to have SPQR here. Perhaps I just have it set up here, you know? You know, here's probably safer. Invasions might come from here. Let's keep that in mind. So we can put a dock like along there, right? Because we need more money. Yeah, we can just put a dock right there. There's no fishing, right? No, okay. So a dock can go right there. We have a road going there. We're gonna need to clear off some room for timber yards. The road going along here can be furniture workshops. Okay. And we're gonna need like a couple houses. Is there an opening into there? I think there is, yeah, yeah. It can go around there. Okay. Couple of houses down there. Prefecture. Oh, we got money. Fantastic. Engineer's post. That's another festival to Mars. Bit much, bit much. Unemployment 2%. Okay, we can go raw materials, timber, yard. Okay, make sure we have enough room for the dock, which is one, one, two, three. Okay. And we can. Where will the warehouse go? I guess right here, right? Warehouse will go there. Uh, workshop furniture. One, two, three. Right there. Leaving room for the dock right there. One dock should be fine. Uh, workshop furniture. 
warehouse accepting just furniture. Okay, setting up our next export. Efficient, nice, clean. Pa. <laughs> Maybe a ring road around the SR have more space for buildings? Uh, yeah, I could totally just put uh, houses here, sort of thing. Um, houses or services. There's actually a lot of room to play with on a block which is irregularly shaped. Jeez, so much fruit. Am I completely overproducing fruit? I think I'm completely overproducing fruit. Okay, invasion's gonna be coming in soon. We have an almost full fort of javelins. We have some towers down there, depending where the invasion comes from, but we do have a blessing from Mars, which is very important. I probably need to boost my population a little bit uh, to get things going, so let's... Do I populate up the back of the S like this? I think so. Let's just spend some money. There we go. Bring in some more people, please. Okay. It is a new year, so we're going to make that money back. Uh, let's just put down a dock. How much can we sell a year? Just one shield, so not a lot, not a lot. Another timber yard and two more workshops should do. Okay. Once some furniture's in, I'll open up the trade route and I can have this as well. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yeah. Nice and symmetrical S block. And now let's reset our debt anniversary before anything happens. Are you just gonna buy all the fruits? Could you buy some oil, please? Three caravans is pretty good, though. They, they buy a lot. Yeah, they just buy all the fruit first. Oh, well. 8, 16, 24. So we could max out our fruit sales immediately. Uh, short by 51 employees. I think I can lose one fruit farm. Yeah, I can lose one fruit farm. Actually, let, let's leave it there. See if we actually... I think we'll get 50 people from this. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Is this a campaign map? It, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're still going through the campaign. Mini Tokyo. Uh, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult start because there's no rescue funds and the previous governor left us with a garbage of a city and there's not that many exports. So I'm just trying to max out all my exports first. Uh, we can farm veg... No, we can't farm vegetables. Okay, we can't sell anything else there, but we could sell some iron. Um, but the nearest iron mines to the coast are here, so it might not be worth selling iron unless I get it from here. Oh, it's a long way. Selling iron just might not be worth it. Once we get some furniture going... Oh, a thousand people. Oh, that's nice. Uh, how are the gods feeling? All displeased. Okay. I'm gonna have to put down some temples soon, but I will wait for... Don't forget the oil request. Yeah. 14 months to comply. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we are doing letter blocks. I did not build this, by the way. We started with that. That's actually me cleaned up. There's S. We're gonna go P, Q, R. S, P, Q, R. And then some other, maybe an X block here, maybe uh, an M block, maybe? M block's a little tricky, but we could do it. Right? Delete the two temples to Mars. I mean, I can just leave it there, it's fine. It's, he's exalted. Um, as our population goes up, he'll be less happy. Okay, there is 13 months to come... Uh, left for the oil, so I'm gonna sell off a bunch of oil here. Use that money to open the trade route for the furniture. City short by 17 employees, few more people moving in. I've heard there are jobs here. I, I want to be a lion tamer. Yes, yes. I love Business is going very well. Do buy that oil, thank you very much. Bam, there we go. Have we already maxed fruit sales? We can buy one more. Reset the debt anniversary. We have some furniture. I just want to wait for a little bit more furniture to come in. 
Okay, there we go. So now we can open up the trade route to Carthagonova. Open that, yes. Uh, start exporting all the furniture. That should... We should be producing enough here, right? Only 15 units a year can be sold, right? This, this most definitely will sell 15 units. Now, Carthagonova, where are you? Show up and buy some chairs and stuff. Okay, he's not here yet. Money's coming back in. Uh, I have not forgotten the request. 12 months left. Okay, okay, that's fine. That means we've already sold 13 of 25. I could probably do with a bit more uh, oil production, but I kind of need more people first. I don't want to put any more houses on the S block, so I guess we can now do the P block. Okay, let me pause this. Let me just have a look here. I missed a Twitch Prime shoutout. Oh, who, who is it? Who is it? Who just subscribed with Twitch Prime? Thank you so much. Uh, someone tell me the name. P is going to be going here. How do I align them? I can't do it in a perfect curve. Maybe S, S P that way. Q, R that way. S, P, Q, R. Debs, Debs, thank you so much. Debs, 1953-56. So... Like here? Should be a bit higher. I need some space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. P is a pretty straightforward block. It's just gonna have to be something like this. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight by six. One, two. Until it looks good on the map, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna need. Why does that look so weird? It's like, it's too fat on the back. Like, it needs to be like that. Yeah? That looks better. Roads on the back there are gonna mess up. Actually, if it's houses, it should be fine. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. And just here, it'd be like a medium statue. Okay, good. P down. <laughs> Make the stick of the P one wider. That might actually solve it. It is a little skinny, but it, it's based on two, which is matching here. But maybe it'll look better, right? Just having it one wider. What do you think? Better? No, I think I like that. There's, there's some consistency with the thickness of the S. Prefecture, engineer's post. This is a straightforward block, so I don't have to worry about it. You know, just... Give you guys a well. Okay, there we go. Should retrain? Yeah, okay. Ah, there we go. Invasion's gonna be coming in soon. We actually have a full. Oh, look, money has come in. We can go ahead and put down another fort of javelins. Right there. Maybe there. Keep it aligned. Bam. Another fort of javelins. P down, two letters, SP down, QR will go here. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll try to keep things nicely, evenly spaced as well. Oh, here we go, here we go. The center of the P is weird. Don't worry, once you plaza it, it'll look fine. It'll look fine. Uh, we, yeah, it'll look fine. Enemies of Rome are at the outskirts of your city. Ah, let's see. These were my friends at Christmas. 
And they're just gonna drop in and like eat and drink all the food. Okay, there. So, technically, Muhammad, an Umidian warrior. We should be able to kite them forever. Now this is a peaceful mission, so it shouldn't be too big of an invasion. We do have a blessing from Mars as well, if we could deal with these guys. Okay, is that, is that all of them? Okay, start shooting. Come on, they're shooting, shoot back! There we go. Okay. Just fight them. Just fight them, it's fine. Okay. Shoot back! There we go, there we go. Ah, Mars showed up. I wanted to try save that, but okay. Return to we would have been fine without it. We would have been fine without it. I could place wells of fountains in the middle. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I might do that. I might not. Depending. Because if you look on, on the map, the roads sort of have the clarity you need. Okay. I kind of want to put a granary here. We could use the surplus food to feed the S block. If I put a granary here... Set this to accepting just fruits. And also back up the engineer's post over on this side so that we do have full coverage even if they get messed up by that intersection. Uh, then we could actually put down like another fruit farm and start feeding these blocks here with some fruits which would be very very good. Oh we have sold some furniture that's where our money came from. We sold eight units already it is November we started the industry a little late this year. How is our employment? Unemployment of 5%, so let's just go ahead and put down that uh, fruit farm straight away. There we go. Extend this road out that way. And I don't want to extend these roads out too far. It should be fine if I do that. I don't, I don't need to move it. It's actually okay. The, these guys should walk around. Look at all that fruit coming in, so we'll be able to feed that soon enough. Uh, we could prep a reservoir to come out from here. Reservoir. Will that block the way in? I think so. Let's just make sure that they can actually get in from that side before I put down the reservoir and block access. Okay. Uh, and this reservoir... How do I do this? What's the coverage? That's pretty good, right? If I put like... One, two, three, four... That's kind of annoying. I could fit one there. One, two, three, four... If I put a fountain here... One, two, three, four... Now the fountain... It'll be most efficient if I put it there. Can this reservoir be one tile over? Totally. It's fine. Get rid of that. Fountain. And that will actually cover quite a few of these houses. Can get rid of that. Alright. Fountain access going down in the S. Uh, food is going to be looking okay. Now, I will use a gatehouse here. Uh, just because... It's sort of a little easier to manage. Put a small statue there to make sure that road doesn't come back. Uh, I will put a gatehouse against this granary too. Bam. Road connection. 
market. It's February. Did we just max out our fruit sales? Almost, almost. Market can go right there. And we'll feed them. We'll feed our first block. Isn't that good? No gate run? Ah, uh, it depends. It depends. Some of my maps have done no gates. But... I'm gonna do this for now. For now. It's ugly. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can fix it a little later. Mm. It's not the worst thing, but... I, I, I want to just make sure we're okay. Oh, look at all that money. Uh, well... Let's go Military Academy while we're at it. Uh, where can I stick the Military Academy? I don't know if I, I want it to remain over here. I think I'll be demolishing all of this, so I can stick this over here and incorporate it into, into things later. Bam. Military Academy down, let's train up these guys better. 3% unemployment, okay. Let's get that going. I forgot to silence my phone. Okay, it's Military Academy down. Yes, it's functioning. Employment problems done. So hopefully we get one... Yeah, that, that will military train those two. Food's coming in, yes, yes, okay, fantastic. Let's feed this area, and now more money's come in. We're gonna need a reservoir on this side of the S. One, two, three, four, five, somewhere like there? Or here, there, okay. Aqueduct can wrap around. Nice straight lines. Fountain coverage can now go down. Two, three, four. There. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about the request. No worries. No worries. Is that some... Oh, that's why I was confused. That was I was confused. Why were there two? Why were there two? Everyone but Mars. Everyone but Mars. I got distracted by building blocks, uh, my fundamentals slipped. But don't worry, don't worry, I also forgot to drop my salary to zero. Favor is not, uh, not gonna, he's not, Caesar's not gonna come kill me yet. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, oh look at that. Oh, oh my furniture sales. <laughs> oh dear, I think I have to up my oil production, right? I have to go one more. And I'm gonna move these over. Workshop oil. Okay. I have to go one more. Okay, let's get those requests out of the way. Food is coming down. Look at that. That's a little bit nicer. Uh, I could just, like, scatter some plazas around here, see if these houses evolve, yeah? Sirius destroys all my crops. I'm not concerned. That's okay. 
That's okay. Scatter these plazas. There we go. Feed those people, please. Okay. The crops being destroyed actually doesn't affect things too much. I'm not too concerned. Military, we should be A-OK. -okay. They are now academy trained, yes? Bold and encouraged on inc uh, morale. Okay, okay. I think, I think, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, all these people are going to be moving in now. We are shot by 29 employees. We just evolved some of these houses, so it should be fine. They can all snake around there. So we're not going to sell any oil for now. Ah, boat, yes. Wait to do some trading here. I love a good fine. Uh, destroy some temples to Mars. Balance the temples quickly. Um, it's fine, actually. I, uh, I know the gods sometimes get jealous, but look at that. We just put a temple each to all of the others. And I, I like to keep Mars a little bit... Actually, we kind of need to make Mars more upset, right? Because we can't get a blessing unless there's a boost in the favor. So I'm gonna make Mars upset, then boost up his favor, and then... And then it'll be good. There we go. Sold all that furniture. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. There's no problem. There's no problem at all. It's a-okay. Oh, look at all these oil workshops working. We'll, we'll be able to deal with those requests. No problem. And... Fulfilling at least the new one will uh, will get our favor back up. Don't worry, we've got we've got plenty of time. Let's just not forget it this time. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I should have set up the furniture industry first. Huh? You know, and what I was thinking of for the middle here was to plaza that up because that looks cool for the center of the P. Oh, second invasion. No blessing from Mars this time. But we do have two academy trained javelin forts down here. Okay. This way. Okay. Let's deal with these guys. None of these towers are actually functioning, uh, but probably it would be a good idea if they were, right? this mess of a road. Can I... Yeah. This will be too close enemy troops? Okay. Be better then. Okay. That will get... some of those towers functioning, but I think, uh... Our javelineers should be able to deal with this. Some kiting will be fine. You guys. We're gonna draw them over here. Don't shoot them quite yet, yeah? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he shot. Okay. Kill those guys, please. Are they gonna run this way? Okay. Okay, shoot him. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We're actually... It's, it's no problem. It's no problem. I don't know why I worry about these things. It's actually not, not a problem at all. I need this road here? I don't need this road at all. Damn, that makes things so much better. Yeah. Instead... Let's get these towers functioning. Instead, I'll have a prefecture then. Okay, good. Good. I think all the zebra on the map are dead, and I think with more people moving in, first block is being fed. Uh, we have enough oil to...
deal with one of these, so let's dispatch that. So we're not selling any of this oil. Let's build up the rest of the oil for that. And I think now at this point with all of our exports going, that is maxed out exports, right? Except for oil, uh, except for oil, except for iron. Um, I think that's gonna be good. I think that is a good start to this map. All right, now that's gonna be the end of part one of this map and the SP is down, the QR will be coming down next time in the letter block in this dry, dry desert. Now our plan for saving the city had a rocky start but I think it's gonna be going along very nice and we'll be able to pick it up next time. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the button on the screen right now to take you to part two, but hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video.